Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors on the Homestead. Today we're going to saw some hemlock. We need two by eights. Actually we need one and a half by eights. They're going to be uh, decking for a snowmobile trailer. We have this big log on the mill. The log is not perfect. I'll show you the blemishes here in just a second. Tim will join us just as soon as he's through over at his house. And we're going to get this done. Okay, so we got to get two by eights out of this log. It's a damn decent sized log, but problem is the log's got rot in the center. We have solid wood from here to here and the same way all the way around. So what we're going to have to do is basically box out this heart to get as much out as of two by eights. Well, excuse me. We're going to have to box out this heart to get out as many one and a half by eights as we can for this gentleman to deck his trailer. What we can't get out of this log, we have more hemlock up there. We will get the order finished. All right, guys, stick with us as we start to shave this dog down and get the dimensions. Now, before we you start on this log, as a lot of you know, we take these uh, logs off our property. We have several acres of land, all timber. So most logs that we we take to utilize into lumber we take our own logs to knock on our own trees now a lot of people have asked the question how do you assess a tree before you knock it down so we were thinking about doing a video of uh, showing you what we look at in a tree before we take it down and we pretty much know what we're going to find on the inside once we drop it now we do drop timber that has problems on our property before we take the actual good stuff because even though the timber is damaged on the bottom, you know, got ants or something in it, usually you can get some good logs out of the top. But if you guys would be interested in the video of how we determine what's inside the log before we take the tree down, leave it down in the comments below. If we get enough interest, we will do a video on that. All right, let's get this okay, log Okay, since started. our goal is six quarter pieces, we're going to start right at six quarter on the scale. Now, I don't know... If any, a lot of you realize this, but if your mill head goes up and down on cables, you're supposed to drop below your target and then bring it back up. See, this is a six quarter we're looking at right here. And what we do is we drop below it and then we're gonna take it up to that six quarter. And the reason you do that is to make sure you have no slack in your cables, because if you have slack in your cables, your head will ride up over hard spots in the Now our plan of attack here is to just take this log down six quarters at a time until we get to the rot. And what we'll do is we'll take these flitches and put them over here. And then when we get the, the heart boxed out and get it off the mill, then we'll start cutting the flitches to get them into one and a half by eight. It's kind of like a long drawn out process to do it this way. So when you have a log that has blemishes like this rot, sometimes you have to do that. Yeah, up the face. Now I'm kind of worried about this little blemish right here, but so far it looks pretty good. We're not going to be able to utilize this piece, but the next piece down, it will be eight inches wide and we'll start using those pieces. Okay. So we rolled the log over and we wanted to make sure that we are square and we are not. All right, sawdust. Let's get Lumberjack fixed. Come on, Lumberjack. All right, hold it right there. All right, go ahead. Got it? Yep. 
Alright, let go. Perfect. Alright, so now we're squared up. So I think that one's gotten into the rot already. Yeah, it didn't get much off this side. Maybe get some off of the other. All right, let me pull that off and you can roll so it. So why don't you cut it two times before you uh, decide to turn it? Well, I brought it down six quarter at a time, making it a little easier on my tail man. Oh, okay. He's old. Yeah, we are both old. Be able to get it, or you need help there, lumberjack. Woo. All right, so now it's nice and flat. Let's make some boards. Unfortunately, this log was a waste of time. We thought we'd be able to whittle it down. We got four flitches, which will make four boards. But it really was a waste of time. This one should have stayed in the woods and left for the little critters to hollow it out and use it for their home. All right, so we're going to hunk this up into four by fours so we can just get it off the mill. And we'll cut it up for firewood. It'll end up in that pile over there. starting to get cooler so it's supposed to cool off today nice yesterday it was like 62 today whew, cold So we need five left. This is gonna be crucial. I think we can get seven out of this one. Let's see, seven inches to the center. Six inches to the center. And so up a half inch.
the old automatic tow board. If I wanted that to grab something, it wouldn't. Well, maybe if you ever jump out of a plane, it'll grab something on the way down. Yeah. That's the way it is welding leads. If you ever need to get a freaking naughty thing, I'll tell you that. So Tim's contacting the customer, letting him know his order is done. That apron isn't going to do much for getting pitch off your ass, you know. That's a maple. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with the pitch ass. Now. All right, so we got his order done. We got one with a lot of weighing in it. We'll throw that one in for free just in case he needs a little bit more from the edges. And we got the order here that never got picked up we'll put that up for sale here pretty quick okay guys so you've heard the phrase and i've seen the phrase a hundred times work smarter not harder today <laughs> yeah. we worked harder to use our smartness, yeah. that one log should have stayed in the woods but it, we brought it out thinking hey we can make some money off but of you it got some pretty looking beams out of it yeah i, I guess we did <laughs> rotten beams hey, pretty. well we got three boards out of it that's 18 bucks <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't leave eighteen dollars laying in the woods, would you? Twenty-two inch log, you would think a little more than eighteen. I know. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, keep in mind what I said earlier. If you'd like us to do a video on how to tell you whether a tree is good or not to take down, don't you, ask him. <laughs> what you can expect in it? We knew that tree had rot in it. We just didn't think it was that bad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell if you want to see ding, our ding. future videos. Subscribe. And until next time, this is Lumberjack. Sawdust. We'll catch you later.